For many years, the land that became the colony of Delaware was actually part of Pennsylvania. However, Delaware had begun to be colonized by Europeans half a century before Pennsylvania came into existence, and its story is very interesting. The land south of the Delaware Bay and east of Maryland, upon which the colony was established, was named for a man named Baron de Loire, an early governor of Virginia, who sent a ship into the bay in 1610. However, a year earlier, the bay had been explored by Henry Hudson, working for Holland as he searched for a northwest passage to Asia. So it was Holland, not England, that first laid claim to Delaware. In 1631, the Dutch established a fur trading outpost on this riverbank, not far from the Delaware Bay. No trace of the original Dutch outpost remains today because it was burned down by Native Americans shortly after it was built. But in nearby Lewis, Delaware, a fine copy of a Dutch building of that time commemorates this period of Delaware's history. The first permanent European settlers of Delaware arrived seven years after those from Holland. These people came in two ships from Sweden. The one seen here is a copy of the Kalmar Nickel that was provided to the settlers by the Swedish Royal Navy. The Swedes sailed farther up the bay and into the Delaware River. They established Fort Christina here along the riverbank in what is today the city of Wilmington, Delaware, where the colony they called New Sweden began. At first, the Swedes worked as fur traders, but as time passed, some settled northward up the Delaware River, where they established farms and towns. The first colonists in New Sweden built small cabins out of interlocking logs that were similar to their homes back in Europe. Later on, this style of building was adopted in frontier settlements all across America. Several years after New Sweden was founded, the Dutch built a fort near here at Newcastle, Delaware, in an attempt to get the land that they believed belonged to New Netherland back from the Swedish settlers. And after four years of fighting, they succeeded. Then, after the English seized New Netherland, Delaware automatically became part of the colony of New York. However, when King Charles II granted Pennsylvania to William Penn, the grant included the Delaware region. That was because Penn had requested that his colony have an open route to the Atlantic Ocean. As a result, the Delaware region was turned into the three southern or lower counties of the colony of Pennsylvania. But William Penn, out of respect for the large cultural differences between the English Quakers of Pennsylvania and the Swedish Lutherans and Dutch Calvinists of Delaware, allowed Delaware's residents to be governed only by laws agreed upon by themselves or their representatives. When England went to war with France in 1689, Pennsylvania's Quakers refused to help protect its Delaware counties from French attacks just as they had refused to help New York. This upset the people of the Delaware region, and in 1704, they broke away from Pennsylvania. The courthouse building at Newcastle seen here served as the colony's statehouse for many decades before the Revolutionary War. Flying on it today are the flags of the four nations that have ruled in Delaware. The United States, Great Britain, Sweden, and Holland. After the War for Independence, Delaware became the first state in the new country of the United States of America to ratify its constitution, and the capital was moved from Newcastle to Dover, a city that continues to be the seat of Delaware's government today. Mm -hmm.